We are checking in right now with infectious disease specialist Dr. Zane Chagla with all things health related, but of course, COVID can't say it's going away. I guess the focus of it is going away a bit with the, uh, the House of Commons deciding that next week, no more vaccine mandate. And it's kind of following suit for a lot of people. Yeah, I think it, it's reasonable. Look, I, I, a lot of people got vaccinated. It's important, but at the same time, using a vaccine to separate people for travel wasn't really a, an effective strategy, especially in Omicron. Uh, and so, you know, giving people their freedom back, letting, letting them live their lives, but still encouraging vaccination uh, and staying up to date, which is still important. Um, so, so, you know, this is work, working towards the new normal where we get back to life pre-pandemic. It's more endemic now, right? Yeah, exactly. There's going to be COVID around. There's going to be COVID around for, for the foreseeable future unless something happens with vaccine science that changes things. Um, and so we have to learn to live with this, right? And then again, 90 plus percent of adults have gotten vaccinated. Uh, we have treatments. We have now vaccines coming out even for our youngest age groups. You know, there are going to be more and more tools every day that goes by in this uh, pandemic to really make sure that the burden on hospitals and healthcare is very low. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that so many uh, places are suspending their mandates because they're kind of looking forward to what could happen in the fall and winter. Typically flu season, people are more in together. They're looking at another wave possibly coming of COVID. Yeah, absolutely. We had local data that was presented uh, from Scarston that really does suggest we will see probably more cases going into the fall. Again, people are back together indoors, more interpersonal contacts. Uh, schools are kind of back together as well. And so, you know, it's important to know. It's important for the healthcare system to plan. It's important to people to stay up to date on their vaccines, especially with what comes down the pipeline. There are some really exciting advances, particularly maybe with Omicron specific vaccines. Um, but, you know, again, it's not necessarily to scare anyone, just to say that we just need to plan. And, and, uh, and that's going to be an important part for us moving forward. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like it's normal to plan for the flu season. It could be normal to plan for this. Um, what about there's there's a report that's been out uh, this week that says uh, shows a number of children because they've been in lockdown for a couple of years. Their immune systems aren't built up uh, to, you know, other other viruses, other other bugs that are out there and that they've got now um, a, a weakened immune system almost. Yeah, this is this concept of immunity debt, where, again, the typical things children were being exposed to were you were not. Now, it's a little bit of a theory. There are places that have been open the whole time, like Sweden, where they're still seeing a rise in respiratory infections. So it is a bit of a mix of things. Because all of these infections are now taking off in the community all at once, basically, you're seeing, you know, kids, rather than getting sick every two to three months, are getting sick every couple of weeks with something different. And so it's just important for parents to recognize this summer, everyone wants to get back to normal, do things, see people. Your kids may get a few more respiratory tract infections. They'll get go away, they'll recover. But there may be some, you know, I thought we just got over this and now they have something <laughs> else. And just be cognizant, give time, be patient, you know, be prepared to skip a few things because of the fact that, again, kids are getting illnesses that they typically don't get during the summertime. And passing them along to parents. And we've had a lot of parents here yeah, and, exactly. and who have kids in daycare. It's like, oh, what bug are we getting today? Um, <laughs> we got about a minute left, but uh, Montreal now the epicenter of monkeypox in North America. Yeah, so urban centers seem to be targeted the most. This is where, you know, again, many GBS MSM populations are. Uh, Montreal's taking proactive steps. They're immunizing not only people that are contacts, but high risk people in the community who have not been exposed to the virus. Uh, and we'll have to see Toronto is starting to take the same strategy and, and this may be part of our, our strategy moving forward. Okay, thanks very much uh, for your discussion. As always, Dr. Zane Chagla, infectious disease specialist.